Hey, I'm Alan Brito from Blender 3D Architect and welcome to this tutorial about snapping in Blender. I was explaining how to use Blender for architecture for a fellow architect a few weeks ago and during the time when I was explaining how to use the snapping system of Blender, he came up with an excellent question and I think it is something that many architects, designers and engineers uh, that are trying to use Blender as a CAD tool will find uh, as a potential problem. If we open here the snapping options of Blender, you will see that we have options to find key locations for vertex, edges, uh, faces, and we can find edge centers and edge perpendicular. But there is one missing option here that is quite useful in CAD tools. And let me bring up an image here. This is a snap, this is a screenshot of AutoCAD. If you have, if you ever used a CAD tool, there is a high probability that it was AutoCAD. It's one of the most popular uh, uh, CAD tools uh, in the on the market. And as you can see, we have an option to use intersections. We have many O snap snap options uh, for endpoints, midpoints and one of them is intersections and in this tutorial i want to give you two options uh, some of uh, some of those options are, are hidden tools or tools that are not really uh, available by default in blender to find intersections so let's take a look on how they work and let's take a look how to use the first option let me take this image away and i have a scene here they are the exact two same models and let's say if those are uh, walls and you are working in uh, on a uh, design and you have to find the intersection of these uh, two walls here to make things even more interesting i made one of the walls with an angle this wall here has a 15 degrees so it's not that easy to find the intersection points here based on just the snapping system of blender if you enable the snapping we can uh, go in uh, with vertex edge we can try edge center let's try to make a copy of this vertex here if i press shift d and try to find it will find the edge center and if i try to move my mouse here it won't find the intersection point which is quite bad for CAD uh, uh, for uh, design workflows but there is a way to find this option the first one that I that I want to show you is to use the auto merge feature what is the auto merge feature if you open the sidebar and go into two you see that we have an option here called auto merge. If you enable the auto merge and go with uh, split edges and faces, here's what we have to do. Whenever you do uh, or make an extrusion or or transformation of any geometry in Blender, let me move this in the X axis. If I move this again, G X. And if I release my object here, as you can see, Blender will find the intersection points for you. Now we have what it did. It split this geometry here exactly in the snapping point in in the in in, uh, in the intersection points. One of the uh, only requirements to be able to do this is your geometry must be coplanar. They must be in the same plane which is the case here. This is option one. Again, you just have to go into two and enable auto merge and split edges and faces. And just before we move into our second option, uh, another thing that I want to mention here about the auto merge is that uh, it is uh, great to work with a piece of geometry or part of your model during a duplication. For instance, if I duplicate this wall here in this location, Blender will also find this at same point with uh, intersections. 
just a quick tip about using auto merge. And now for the second option, we have to use an add-on. And before enabling the add-on, let me disable here the auto merge and the split edges and faces. And we can go into edit preferences and look for our add-on here into the get extensions tab. And you can just type here in the search uh, CAD and you will find one option here with the name TinyCAD Mesh Tools. I will hit install. This is one of the oldest options uh, to manage uh, CAD tools or CAD-like tools in Blender, which uh, uh, I consider uh, as a hidden tool in Blender because it doesn't come up uh, enabled by default. Now it's part of the official repository, add-on repository for Blender. And where can we find those tools? If you select your model, go into edit mode. If you right click, you will find the tiny CAD options here at the top. And one of them is intersect selected edges. One aspect of using this option is that you need to select two edges like those, like these two here, right click, go into TinyCAD and find the intersection. It will mark the intersect point of your edges. Let's select another two edges, right click, TinyCAD intersect, select those two, TinyCAD intersect, select these two here and get the intersect. And as you can see, we have the intersect points. If you need, you can just select four vertices and press the F key to recreate your faces. And this is how easy it is to get intersections here in Blender. Getting intersections is a part of any design workflow. If you are trying to use Blender as a CAD tool, eventually you will need to find intersections of your key points on a project. And those were two options uh, that you can use to find intersections. The first one, going with uh, the auto merge, and the second is uh, TinyCAD. TinyCAD was part of Blender, part of the bundled uh, add-ons for Blender for quite some time, and now you have to manually install it uh, from uh, as part of the add-ons from Blender 4.2 and probably Blender 4.3 and for the future versions of Blender. I hope you liked the content. And since I'm often making videos about using Blender as a cat tool, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can keep up with the next uh, tutorials about uh, Blender. One that, I'm, that I will uh, post probably next week is how to uh, use another snapping options for, uh, Another snap option for Blender, which is the extension. How can we make extensions in Blender? This is something that I will probably uh, create in the upcoming days. So keep up with uh, the channel content by subscribing to the channel. See you next time. Bye.